So I'm just bringing you a quick video with no editing, just to tell you that the importance of um, an emergency overflow. Now I came home from work and I was spitting bubbles at the top from my return pipe and it was just making a crazy noise. So I thought, what's going on? So I opened up my sump and the water level was really low in my return. And I thought, well, I only topped it up this morning with RO. So I looked over into my overflow and the water level was all the way up to the emergency there. And it was going down the emergency. Now what had happened, you can't see very well, but right down at the bottom there, you might be able to just make it out. That's my norm normal overflow, which comes down the, mi uh, the middle pipe with the blue ball valve on and goes into my sump. The overflow is the one to the right with the double two elbows on that goes down as well. That's where the water will go in. So I took apart the ball valve, this one, and inside was a snail blocking the way, still alive. I've put him back in the tank and I've resorted my levels out. And there, I just wanted to let you know that that could have been a flood because my water level is right at the top. So that's a good bit of advice for you there, guys. If you're doing a custom tank, emergency overflow, make sure you've always got an emergency overflow. Thanks for checking out the video. See you later, guys.